Up next, Scott Campbell and Ryan Malone will talk about lots 11 through 20 and their upcoming Labor Day sale hosted by Caldwell Willoughby Sales. Be sure to listen in and hear about these great calves that have been acquired and cataloged by Ryan Malone and Scott Campbell in their upcoming Labor Day sale. Lot 11 is a monopoly out of a fear this granddaughter. Another calf that, that's just a little younger, later March. Um, we think that this one will, will certainly hold it later into the fall. Uh, just super smooth, super attractive from the side. Really big bellied, deep bodied kind of a calf. Um, just really not a whole lot wrong here. Um, you can't pick on him too hard. We think this calf's just going to be an easy feed and easy doing uh, for, for any type of an exhibitor to take home and feed. Lot number 12, uh, again another heat wave, JPJ double vision. It'd be a sieve to the steer I talked about before. This is a roan market heifer we have in the offering. One that's pretty just complete all the way through. Uh, uh, nice bodied, good and stout, good legged for a heat wave, uh, JPJ double vision. One I think will definitely play in the market heifer division. You gotta love her color pattern. She's been a stick out from day one. Lot 13 is Monopoly 2 out of a black bear granddaughter. Uh, this cow, this sure isn't her first time to hit. She's done an awfully good job. Uh, Ryan kind of mentioned his sale sleeper earlier. I think this one's pretty easily mine. Uh, really wide pinned, super square, really, really good at the ground. Probably a little bit more extended up front than a lot of these Monopoly bred cattle are. Uh, really good in his shoulder. Um, I just think that this one, every day that he's on feed, will continue to get better. Lot 14, I-80 Heat Wave. Kind of a unique bred one. Uh, one that's kind of grown since he's got here. Uh, a calf you like in terms of his stoutness. He's really, really good bellied. Uh, you like him for his extension. Really good at the ground in terms of his foot and bone. I think this calf's better days are ahead of him. Lot 15 is Monopoly Whiplash. A uh, calf that we raised here, he's actually out of Judgment Day's mom, a uh, cow that we bought after we bought the bull. Um, this calf is, is plenty tight haired right now that you can see on his video, but I can promise you he was a yak when he was born. Um, I think that this one just on down the road is going to be awfully, awfully good. Um, yeah, he may not look quite as good on his video right now as some of these others, but don't sell him short because uh, you won't want to show against him down the road. Lot 16 is a fringe out of a purebred shorthorn cow. She's a 38 special uh, March calf. He does register as a purebred shorthorn. Um, if you watch this guy's video and you look at his picture, you don't even need to listen to what I'm going to say because you, you'd buy him off that. But uh, one that is extremely extended. Uh, you love his look. You love his color pattern. One that's certainly going to get along in the shorthorn division. He's stout. He's powerful. He's got some foot and bone. I'd look into this one if you're a shorthorn player. Lot 17 is a walks alone out of a gladiator Angus cow. Um, there's only a whole, there's just not a whole lot to say about this one other than he's really really stout. This guy has got a great big backyard on him. I mean it is, he is just great big ended, uh, big big backed um, calf that is that's still for everything he's carrying. Good at the ground, smooth from the side. Um, I think that this one for like a county fair steer. Um, is going to be a contender anywhere you take him just in terms of power. Yes, lot 18 is a Bojo Juno, uh, one that uh, you certainly can't miss when you walk through his pen. He's got a neck like a giraffe. He keeps his chest tucked in him, which is really good, and yet he's still got a bunch of body and looks like he's going to be a good feeding one, uh, one that is super in terms of his structure. I wouldn't count this guy out yet. He's just a little green, and he also can be registered as a main. Lot 19 is Monopoly out of an anchor cow. Um, bred a little bit different than some of these other cattle around here on the bottom side, but uh, when you take a look at this one, the first thing you've got to notice is his center body. He is super big bellied, um, just really, really nice, uh, kind of easy feeding type of a steer, the kind that anybody can take home and be successful with uh, later on in the summer. Uh, just kind of a fault-free, problem-free kind of a calf. Lot 20 uh, is a Monopoly Ali. Uh, if some of you remember, the Mawson steer from a couple years ago was bred the exact same way. Really good calf. You can't build a steer better than this one just in terms of his skeleton. Uh, his extension's good. His center body is in, impeccable. You get him in motion, he's phenomenal. And yet, this calf still has enough muscle to get out and be a fat steer like he needs to be.